Dr. Huebner, Natural Transplants, I'm very happy to be here with Stephen. Stephen has been nice enough to share his journey today. Uh, so I uh, wanted to ask him, you know, Stephen, when did you start losing your hair? And, and tell us about your research in terms of how you're in this chair today. Um, I started losing my hair probably when I was 25. Um, my research really started online and I went to a couple of consultations. Um, I had a FaceTime with Dr. Huebner, and the rest is history. I'm sitting here now. <laughs> <laughs> so like a lot of guys, you know, it's important that you do your research. There, there's people that certainly know what they're doing, and there's a lot of people that maybe don't do it as often or maybe don't have as much experience. So really important to do your homework with, uh, with every facet of, the, of this surgery. Dr. Hubner, Natural Transplants, I'm here with Steven, and uh, I love these videos. This is sort of the full circle. Uh, his surgery day video is on our, our website, and he's been now one year from his procedure, and we were just doing a FaceTime follow-up, as we always do at the one-year mark. And as you can see from his pictures, uh, what a difference in terms of presentation and, uh, and just, just overall, and a huge improvement. Um, Steven, you know, tell us about the journey. I mean, you know, from the surgery days uh, up to now, um, tell us, tell us in your own words. So I guess, I mean, really, it's all about just patience. I mean, it all started coming through, you know, month four, month five is when you could start really seeing the hairs pop, pop through. And I actually ended up having a defined hairline. So yeah, all in all, it came together great. My scar is not there. It's, you know, it's, <laughs> it's so, there. You just can't see it. Right. It's, it, it doesn't it's bother there, you. but it's just disappeared. Essentially. It's, yeah. that was my big worry. And right. That's like, yeah, it's just a relief off your shoulders right. knowing that, you know, your scar is nothing. It's not a popsicle stick. Right. Right. And I'm sure you've yeah. seen those walking around too. And that's one of the uh, biggest reasons guys go for the robotics or the FUE oftentimes when it's not the right choice for, for how much hair loss they have. But, um, but you have your hair pretty short. I mean, it doesn't really ch you're not really having to change your hairstyle too much based on the scar or at all. Um, no. Nope. Awesome, man. And uh, people around you have been saying anything? You know, has your family noticed or, or people that you know? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's all in the hairline. It just yeah. brings it down a little bit, yeah. just frames the face. And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. This is a great example of what maybe 40% looks like. I mean, he really has that, unfortunately, like me, has that black hair, brown hair, and white skin. So you get, you can see every little space in cranny, but you can see even with one pass, he's got enough to really make a difference. Yep. Yeah. And I, actually, I'm going to have you hold it there for just one second, chin down if you would. Yep. And you can see it's a little see through here and there, but for the most part, he's a guy that has hair and he's a, he's not a bald guy. <laughs> and, and all that hair in front is new. Let me have you turn to either left or right, either way, and just hold it there. Yep. Perfect. You can see no evidence of scar there. Any, not even close to showing the scar. And that, yep. And then slowly kind of come around the other way. Yep. Perfect. Excellent. Right there. Perfect. Hold it right there. Again, look how short he has his hair. Not a big deal. He's doing a nice little fade taper. Awesome. Dude. And I, and I will say this. The, I mean, the hairstylists don't even know, know that I got a hair transplant. Right. Right. So it's, you know, it looks good. It looks clean. It looks crisp. It doesn't yeah. look unnatural. Yeah. And so, it's permanent. So that'll yeah, be the same hairline exactly. when you're 80 years old, which is pretty cool to think about. Not having to worry about that receding anymore. So, uh, yep. dude, congratulations, man. I'm really happy for you. And, um, you know, would you what would you tell people that are on the fence about a hair transplant or worry about a, a linear scar? I, I mean, if if anyone's on the fence and this is something that they're seriously going to consider... I mean, by all means, call Dr. Hubner, <laughs> get his opinion, and you'll see the results. I mean, and just his, he communicates well. You're his number one patient during that time frame of, you know, that, you know, 14 day window when you first get it done. He'll call you back at any time. Yep. <laughs> and awesome. walk you through this. Awesome, man. Yeah, we are always available, and we uh, are, you know, there's a lot of things that come up after a hair transplant that, um, you know, are a little scary. Questions. You're not used to it. Yeah, yeah there's questions and yep. unknowns. Yep. And so and it's important to have someone there. You can just, hey, and get an answer within, you know, five minutes about what's going yep. on usually. I, so. I mean, that that in itself to me was worth all the money. Yeah. I mean, yeah. W whatever you're going to spend on it, um, if you don't get the communication and the, you know, the trust in your doctor that yeah. they've done a good job and yeah. they're willing to have those yeah. conversations with you, then 
I mean, don't even go anywhere else. I, and I can hear that your cat is happy about your results as well. He's yes, chiming in she's saying, stoked. go for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, congratulations and uh, we enjoy your hair. Thank you so much. You got it, man. Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.